Hey YouTube, it's RC Action Australia here. Um, I've been trying to get together a sort of stadium truck collection. So as you've seen in my other videos, I've got the Stadium Raider. I've also built the Sand Shaker. So now I've been able to get hold of a um, original Tamiya Wild Dagger body. Um, so it's actually the exact same as the Stadium Raider body. Um, but the holes are in a different position. So the front holes are the same. The rear ones are actually slightly forward. It does have the markers there for the um, other body post holes if you want to drill them out. Um, so it's an MCI racing decal sheet. So pretty happy with the, with the decals actually. It's turned out, turned out pretty good. Um, the little old dagger sticker on the back and so I went with PS15 which is a metallic blue as you can see it's a nice colour goes well with the um, greens and the yellows and that sort of goldy colour and obviously we've got the gold wheels so obviously this isn't a WT01 I think is the original wild dagger chassis so while I've got the TL01 over there this is actually a TTO one, brand new, never used. I built it, and that's about as far as we got. Um, and obviously had the WRX body on it. So, um, as you can see, I've also got some other videos of a sand shaker that I built, in, built sorry, which is uses the TTO two chassis. So, said so the main purpose of me building this um, was just to get sort of build a, a to me a stadium truck um, set up. So um, yeah, let me know what you think guys. Um, anyone out there um, buying decals from MCI Racing? So you can obviously tell these decals are not as good as your original Tamiya ones, which this is an original Tamiya body with original stickers. So you can tell from a distance you can't tell, but up close you can tell the reproduction stickers from original ones. So I've bought some in the past and wasn't happy with the colour and the finish. But last time I accidentally ticked the UV protection film. And when they arrived, they're a lot better quality um, and the colours are a lot better. Um, so anyone out there that's buying decals off MCI Racing, they take about two to three weeks to get here. Um, but, I think these are about $20 to my door, $22 or something. Um, and the color is so much better if you get the UV protection film put over the top. So I didn't use all the stickers. As you can see there's some, still some left over. There was a gray sticker that went under here. I did actually have it on originally and I took it off because it just, it actually looks better to have the blue. And there was a back window sticker on the back here that was silver, but it just looked a bit tacky. So um, yeah, that's my sort of custom, to me, a wild dagger on a on-road chassis. So I do have some different wheels and tires that are a little bit more chunky, but they're still like an on-road tire um, that'll finish this off nicely and I am, currently contemplating building a to me a TTO2 buggy chassis and putting this body onto that so to do that the TTO1 and TTO2 are pretty similar so I can show you on here I do have a TTO2 but it's not handy now the the buggy version obviously has wider arms front and rear plus it has higher um, suspension posts which the body um, mounts hook on to. So I've actually done a bit of thinking and research is you can buy the car body mounts which I have some spare ones anyway fit them to the buggy chassis um, you got to alter the shocks a little bit but then you can actually fit the posts on that chassis and you will end up with a um, pretty sort of custom um, wild dagger with slightly wider, more like a stadium truck but still on road. Um, so yeah, 
contemplating doing that. So hit like, subscribe, let me know what you think, guys. But as I said, we've got the wild dagger built now. We've got the stadium raider. Um, as I said, you've all seen my video on this. This is my actual car from a teenager. Um, everything's as was me building it over the years, 15, 16 years ago, just lost the original tyres, but as I said, we've got some replacements that are pretty good. So, as I said, guys, let me know what you think. If you've got any other suggestions, or you think that uh, the idea of me changing to a, a buggy chassis and with the wider arms is pretty cool, just let me know. Cheers.